So for this banded mobilization, this is going to be for the upper body. You're going to feel a lot of the tension on the upper back around the middle traps. So nose turns around, you're going to have it on the middle traps around this region here. Maybe a little bit in the upper traps. And depending on how stiff you are, you might start to get a lot of tension on the side part of the shoulder here. So this is very good for internal rotation of the shoulder. It's also working a lot of rotation of the spine as well. So what we're gonna do first is we need to hook the hand into the band, okay? So we're not just gripping hold of the band, we're gonna get the hand underneath here and then rotate round to then grab hold, okay? Perfect. So then from this position, it's probably best to just come onto the knees first and then try to come out to the side to get that tension on the band. So the resting hand is usually over in front of the body and with this position, now we have the, ha the hand inside the band, so you don't have to have all of the focus on you just holding onto the band. It's kind of splits 50-50. From here, you're not fighting against the band. You're just gonna let the band pull your arm towards the rack. So you're gonna get a lot of tension in that middle traps area, and maybe perhaps in the rear, in the rear delts as well. And it's okay to get a little bit of rotation as well that's all right. So we're just going to go into the, as much of a pull uh, of rotation as possible whilst having a lot of tension on the band. Now we don't want to start compensating by turning the wrist round. So we're going to try and keep the palm up towards the ceiling. Knee position and the legs is kind of preference most of the time. Uh, I think most of my clients and myself, I like to adopt a wide knee stance position so you're a bit more stable. And the hand of the resting arm is pretty much preference again as well. You just put it wherever you're gonna feel more stable. When you're holding this position, you can hold this position for five seconds, relax, and then a turn back a little bit. So you're gonna rotate back and then you're gonna go back into that position and let the band pull you. What you can do as well is start working some contractions. So tensing up the upper back whilst in this position and then letting loose on the band as well. So you're gonna contract on that upper back for five seconds, squeezing up here and relax and then let the band pull you from here. And one other alternative if we're trying to build the rotation in the spine is to also then rotate back up to that starting position whilst contracting the upper back here. And then we're gonna go back down in that position, let the band pull, so you're relaxing now, holding it for five seconds, and then contract, lift back up, and hold that position. Once you're done, you can very simply just unravel, so go back into the stretch, unravel your hand, let the band just do this work, and go back to the rack. And that's it.